In this lecture, we'll explore the history panel in the develop module. The history panel allows us to keep track of any adjustments we've made to our image. Let's go ahead and expand our history panel by clicking on this arrow next to the heading. The history panel also records many other bits of information, such as the date that snapshots were taken and the date the image was originally imported from the source drive. So here, for example, is when the snapshot was taken. And we can see a series of adjustments we'd applied with the most recent on top. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see the date that the image was originally imported into this catalog. So it's a very comprehensive list of adjustments that you've made to this image. If we wanted to go backwards and remove some of the things we've done, let's say, for example, I no longer want the temperature setting applied. To get rid of this adjustment, just go back one or two, however many you need to go back. This will restore you to a previous point in time. You can think of it as using the Edit Undo button, but with a lot more options and the ability to go back a lot further. Another great thing about the History panel is we can create a snapshot out of any one of these adjustments. So remember, each one of these is a moment in time. And say, for example, you, you were happy with this result and you wanted to make a snapshot out of this particular adjustment right click on the history item and go to create snapshot. Just give the snapshot a name and click create and it'll show up in your snapshots panel. In the previous lecture, we explored the before state and we would use the snapshot as our before state. So remember, we could toggle back and forth between our current state and our snapshot state. But this time, let's set one of the history items as our before state, not one of our snapshots. So I'll go here. I'll set this by right clicking on it and going to copy history set settings to before. OK, so now this is my before state. I'll make an adjustment. And as you can see, when I press the backslash key on my keyboard, it is reverting back to the history item I just set as my before state. If you'd like to clear all the items in your history panel, click this X over here. And you can see that all your history is now erased. If you ever do that accidentally, remember you can always use the edit undo option to bring your history back.